so this company ai2 presents olmo 2 or olmo2 which is the best fully open language model till date now if you can observe the performance of the models here the star marks the latest olmo models or olmo models there are two variants one is the 7 billion variant and the other is a 13 billion variant and you can see this plus mark this was the older version of the 7 billion models it performs better or is at par than the equivalent fully open models and it also gives competition to open weight models uh, just like llama 3.1 now we are going to run this using olama but first of all let's check how this was constructed so you can see the benchmarks here uh, these are the benchmark the matrix uh, that were tracked during the olm2 development so these benchmarks were tracked when the model was developing and we have these unseen evals as well so these evaluations were not uh, tracked when the model was developing and you can see the benchmarks they're pretty good and you can see this graph that we have seen this is pretty good but benchmark is one thing we are going to test this ourselves locally using olama so if you go to olama and you go to models you go to the latest models that is available the newest then you'll be able to find this olmo 2 which is a new family of 7 billion and 13 billion models trained on up to 5 trillion tokens this model when we say olama run olmo 2 the default is uh, 7 billion version so the architecture is olmo 2 parameter is 7.3 billion quantization is a four bit quantization you can see the system prompt here you are olmo 2 a helpful and harmless ai assistant built by the ellen institute for ai so let's go and install this let's go and use this so for using any olama models we need to have olama installed on your system you can go to this download button and then since i'm on my windows i can go ahead and click on download for windows get that exe file get it downloaded install that and then you will have this on your taskbar it shows that olama is running once you have olama running you can go to a cmd a command prompt and there you can see the magic so you can go to models here and then you're gonna go to the latest or newest here and then to olmo 2 and then you're going to copy this olmo run olama run olmo 2 and paste it here but before that let's see if my olama is running okay it's running now i can do olama uh, pull and olmo 2 let's see let's pull this the file does not exist uh, it's olmo th not 3 but 2 so olmo 2 so this is pulled 4.5 gp file uh, the model file and it's a success here now i can go ahead and say olama now i can go ahead and say olama 1 olmo 2 and press here and it, this will be ready for inference now for testing out the model i am not going to randomly ask anything uh, but it actually uh, is good on these benchmarks so arc hs h swag vino g mmlu and drop so i've compiled some questions based on these benchmark and we're going to test this out because testing it on different benchmarks it's not that good and you cannot get the exact picture of how the model is so first of all is arc challenge advanced reasoning so i'm going to say why do metals expand when heated but contract when cooled so let's see the output here metals expand when heated because heat excites the atoms of the metal increasing the kinetic energy and leading to a greater distance between them when the metal cools down the atoms slow down and return to a more compact arrangement resulting in contraction this behavior is part of the thermal expansion and the contract properties that all materials exhibit due to thermal changes or temperature changes, which is pretty good. It's it's really good. It's not pretty, but it's really good. Next, we have this. If a balloon is heated, what will happen to the gas molecules inside it and why? If a balloon is heated, the gas molecules inside will expand due to increased kinetic energy that acquired from the heat. 
This is pretty good. The relationship between the temperature and gas expansion is governed by Charles' law, which states that the volume of gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature, assuming pressure remains constant. And that is pretty great. Now, next question is the farmer wants to grow crops in sandy soil. What type of irrigation system would be the most effective and why? Okay, this is a tough question. Let's see the output. For a farmer, uh, for a farmer looking to grow crops on sandy soil, an irrigation system that efficiently delivers water directly to the roots would be more effective. This is because sandy soil have large pore space and poor water retention capacity, which can lead to rapid water runoff instead of infiltration into the soil. This is pretty great. I, I mean, I like these answers. Also, I forgot to mention that they have this playground as well, where you can play with the model. And you can ask questions directly here. So I have these questions from the Hello Swag. Let's take this and put it here. So the woman walked into the kitchen and grabbed a knife. She then started peeling tomatoes, turned off the stop, or began knitting a scarf. What is correct here? Let's see. Based on the context provided, the most likely action the woman would take is start peeling tomatoes. The mention of grabbing a knife typically suggests a culinary activity culinary activities such as preparing vegetables for potatoes for cooking or turning off the stove would be an action referring to the stove use which has been ex explicitly mentioned because the woman's action with the knife and starting to need a scarf is a completely unrelated activity in the kitchen especially given the presence of the knife which suggests food preparation and that is pretty amazing the next question is after hearing the loud th loud thunder the dog ran under the bed or started writing a letter or turned on the tv Let's look at the reasoning. The most plausible answer is, is that the dog ran under the uh, bed. Dogs are often frightened by loud noises such as thunder, and a common reaction is to seek a safe, secure place to hide. Turning on the TV or starting to write a letter are human activities that are typically not related or reactions to thunder and is not something a dog would do. Therefore, A seems the most reasonable answer based on the common dog behavior. Now, this is pretty good. Next is the the question of this ambiguation pronounced in complex sentences. The trophy didn't fit in the suitcase because it is too long. What was too big? Let's go to this local instance and put this. The trophy didn't fit. The trophy was too big to fit in a suitcase. Trophies typically have large intricate designs and substantial weight, which can exceed the space and space constraints. That was pretty good. Next question is john couldn't lift the box because it is too heavy what was too heavy let's go and ask is yes. the box that john couldn't lift was too heavy okay it understood that the box was too heavy so the next question is sam gave chris a gift because he wanted to thank him who wanted to thank whom in the sentence sam gave chris a gift because he wanted to thank him it's clear that sam wanted to thank chris I really love this model next is what is the derivative of this so this is maths let's go and put it to the 13 billion model here what is the derivative of this okay so to find the derivatives of the polynomial you need to apply the power rule so the derivative is 3x square plus 10x and it is correct pretty good Next is, who was the first emperor of the Roman Empire? Ask the question here and let's see. Is Augustus. I'm really bad in history, but I assume this is correct. What happens to the frequency of light as the wavelength decreases? So, frequency of light when the wavelength decreases. Ask it to a local model here. As the wavelength of light decreases, the frequency increases. This relationship described by the equation that relates frequency and wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. And that is pretty great. So the next question is drop test, numerical reasoning, understanding textual data, and making calculations. So I copy this and go ahead and paste it here. In a class of 40 students, 25 students like football and 15 like basketball. Okay, so that's 40 students if 10 students like both how many students like neither so that's a venn diagram question 
total number of students is 40 then the students who like football is 25 who like basketball is 15 students who like both football and basketball is 10 which is a common thing here the principle of inclusion exclusion helps us find the number of students who like either football or basketball so this would be 25 plus 15 minus 10 which is 30 just means that 30 students like either football basketball or both okay to find the number of students who like neither we subtract this so the answer is 10 i am sure this is correct but let me ask this to the 13 billion parameter as well and i think the answer is 10 here cool cool it's correct next we have this question a shop sells 12 apples for five dollars and 18 oranges for seven dollars if a customer buys 24 apples and 36 oranges how much will it cost okay define the cost of 18 we first in this so the shop sells 12 apples for five dollars cost of per apple is five by 12 18 oranges for seven dollars the cost of one orange is seven by 18 now calculate the total cost of 24 in this just add and you can see that it's 24 dollars so i copy this question go back to my local system as well and ask this question okay 5 by 12 then we have 7 by 18 and it's 24 pretty good so natural questions so who won the novel prize for physics in 2020 1921 okay the Nobel prize was won by albert einstein what is the capital of Bhutan and what is the relevance? So I'm alternating between the playground and the local instance that I'm running so that you can get the idea. So the capital of Bhutan is Tempo, which is actually correct. Explain the significance of NFHS. Okay, this needs is a pivotal epidemiological study conducted. Okay. Okay, the NFHS is a pivotal epidemic study conducted periodically in India to understand the health, nutrition, and social status of the population. Now, being an Indian and staying in India, I bet this is correct. So, NFH, NFHS is a really an um, epidemiological study conducted here. So, I think it was able to get pretty much 100% accuracy for all these questions. Now, I'll put this question somewhere for you to try this out, but you can really tie this model and it's pretty amazing model. You can see the benchmarks. Well, apart from the benchmark, we have tested this model as well and it's amazing. You can use this using Olama or you can use the playground. If you have a higher GPU, you can try this 13 billion version as well and that should work as well approach we have the paper as well of Olmo 2 you can go and have a look at the paper i'll put all these links in my description if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about llama v01 which is the enhanced visual reasoning in llms that beat closed source models check out this video otherwise go through my channel and check out the other videos amazing videos thank you and have a nice day i'll see you in the next one